Hello, welcome back to Demon Souls playthrough. Um, last time we left off beating the first boss and we haven't leveled up yet. So I figured I would show you guys how to actually level up in the game. So there's going to be a monumental, which is a uh, kind takes the form of a little kid, but isn't actually a little kid. They kind of just live. I think they almost live forever, but they do die eventually over time. Uh, I'll show you where they are now. The the lady down there, I don't remember what she's called. She's kind of like the firekeeper of the Nexus. I don't really know what to call her right now. But she does mention the monumentals above, but she doesn't tell you a very good area of, or how to find them exactly. So here I am, I'm going to show you where to find the monumental to level up. up these stairs and then once you get to these stairs go left or right but my preferred way is left it just makes things a little bit easier for me because I always take the same direction every time right here where there is a broken part of the uh, railing I guess to call it uh, you're gonna go to the side of the railing that is broken and it's the only place that has a lit candle we have long awaited you, Slayer of Demons. I am one of the Monumentals. We preserve the fabric of reality. There is a tale I wish to tell you. Once, we too were a scourge of demons faced. distant past, under benevolent rule, the world was united owing to the soul arts. Until a lust for power caused the awakening of the old one. Across the land seeped a colorless, deep fog, and the world faced extinction at the hands of the demons. Thanks be, we were able to lull the old one back to its slumber. Yet only after the loss of innumerable souls, and most of the world, lost, erased by the fog. In order to mend the fabric of what land still remained, we entrusted six leaders with six precious archstones. One to the king of a small yet industrious land. One to the king of the burrowers underground. One to the wise queen of the great ivory tower. One to the chieftain of lost and ill-fortuned souls. One to the shaman of the tempest-worshipping shadowman and the last to the great giants of the northern lands. The archstones were placed in the fringelands that survived. We contained the old one here below the nexus and prohibited the soul arts. Finally, we became monumentals, half-living sentinels of the fabric of reality. Alas, the other monumentals have perished, and only I remain. By the power of the monumental, the four sealed archstones have been unlocked. Now it is your turn. You must lull the old one back to its slumber and seal it away for all eternity. If not, the deep fog will absorb all that we know. Have you the strength to bear this burden? Yes, we are fortunate indeed to have you. Now, go forth and destroy every last demon. Oh, I will. The old one, without demons to feed its souls will a new servant seek 
and lure you to its bosom. All right. And after you talk to the Monumental, you should be able to go down and speak with the Lady of the Nexus and level up. Which is what I'm going to do. black that's who she is also the eye stones that she gives you is purely for co-op and pvp purposes um i am playing offline uh if you are playing online you could make use of that if you want to play with someone else or if you want to do some pvp i personally don't do a lot of pvp in the dark souls games it's just not not my thing i, I do a lot of the the pve if you want to call it that i just play the game what is Seekest thou the power of souls? Of course. Uh, go ahead. Let these back soul of the mind key to life's ease. Okay, so I got six levels soul to work with. Um, from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might Kinda want some I endurance. Um I'm actually gonna I'm actually going to look something up here real quick. Because I also want to start building attributes for uh, being able to wield my claymore. But I just I don't know what the claymore's required stats are. Uh, the only requirement is 20 strength. Okay. So I need, I need 20 strength, basically. And I can get just that. And that is good for me. Now, I have somewhere that I need to stop. Actually, can I afford... In the name of betray your souls. Indeed I can. But, do I want to do this? No interesting, I can tell you. Hmm. Mm. Well, that's weird. I don't I don't need that. <laughs> uh Hmm. I cannot afford the claymore yet. Cause it costs six thousand and it's from the Dredgling Merchant. And I think, I think I'm just gonna go, sure, we'll just level up our water, why not? We'll repair, and then upgrade. Hmm, sure, we'll go plus two, why not? Now, actually, I wanna go to Lord's Path, and I might go backwards here. So that I can get myself the the ring that I need in order to have more equip load. Now, what I've noticed in these types of games, in pretty much all Dark Souls games, it is more worth it to, um, it's more worth it to upgrade the weapon that you're using, like, plus one, plus two, than it is to actually put stats into your stat blocks. So, if, if my weapon requires strength, it's better to, it's better to put my souls into upgrading my weapon rather than upgrading my stats. Like, strength because you'll get just you'll just get more damage out of it.
All those guys are dead. Now we can go and get the get the ring. Oh wait, no, we need to take care of these stupid spearmen. Alright, now, now we can go and get that ring. Just gotta be a little bit extra careful here. Ah, uh, that's not careful. I'm actually going to put on all of my armor here just so I have a better chance of just running and grabbing it. Let him blow fire real quick and then run. Alright, we got the ring. Normally, I would not just go and do that, but since I do know where it is and I find it more worth it to grab that ring than not having it, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go grab it. You guys can do that same thing too, just be careful. <laughs> Didn't mean to click that button. Sorry, just admiring my pretty eyes. <laughs> Am I dead? Oh. I'm not dead. Okay, let's go. <sighs> now we can just continue on forward. I'm not gonna deal with it right now. We're just, we're just gonna keep going. Ignore these guys for now. So this, this, these bridges, I should say, um, they are obviously patrolled by a dragon, and it's really easy to avoid if you just take your time and make sure that you run across the bridge when uh, the the dragon blows fire. Not like that. That still hits me. Oh, that's actually insane. How is that hitting me? Like, hello? Just going now.
Dogs are your worst enemy in any of the Souls game, I swear. I hate them more than I hate Spearmen. Believe it or not. Is selling the claymore right now. Oh, I don't have the money for it yet. I will be back though. Don't you fret. I will be back. Hard times, eh? I'm sure. Having any kind of bow in this game is very useful. I don't normally promote the use of a bow in the Dark Souls games, but in this game it is very nice to have one. My goodness. Now, in this area, the fire will not hit you until you go past the dead horse. Be careful right here, it's kind of like a choke point. They will do a lot of damage to you. Nice large sharp stone shards there. Can I hit these down? No, I can't. Okay. Anytime you see those glowing bugs, try to get them. They are worth grabbing. They always have good upgrade materials, even if you can't use them for the weapon you're using now. If you decide to try something different in your like new game plus or later on, you'll have those upgrade materials available to you. I wonder if all of this would uh, get... Oh yeah, we can go get our claymore now, which is what I'm probably going to do. If I can get back, that's the real question. If I can get back. You guys think I can get back? Leave a comment if I get back, or if you think I can get back or not. Okay, we're running. We're just going. Oh! We made it. We made it.
Now I'm just gonna go back and get my claymore, because that's all I care about at the moment. Alright. What'll it be then? The claymore, my friend. Thank you. And I do indeed fat roll. Like I'm gonna have to shed a little bit more weight. Something like this I'll have to do for now. Well, I guess we gotta give it a try, huh? Alright, so, this is the Tower Knight. There is a strategy that I use in order to beat this guy. You can kind, you kind of have to pay attention to the moves he's going to do and react accordingly, but most of it's going to be the same. Alright, do your best to kill these guys with the crossbows, otherwise they will be on the ground floor when you try to beat the Tower Knight, so... Just be careful. Again, don't panic, take your time. The Tower Knight mostly will not hit you when you're up here on the, on the stone above him. If you're at some weird angle, sometimes he can hit you, or sometimes he can hit you when you're killing these guys. Just be mindful of when he's going to sh shoot his little laser beam, and try not to poke yourself up while he's doing it. Alright, so the strategy in order to beat this guy is um, you want to watch out which move he's going to do. You want to kind of bait out an attack like that and then go in and attack his legs. If he does that move where he slams his shield down, walk further away. If he does like a back jump, be careful, just bait out a different attack. If he stomps, that's the best move that you, you can bait out pretty much. You can literally walk this entire fight, you don't have to dodge. But if you do think you're going to get hit, you can dodge if you need to. Like that, you just you really want to be careful. I don't like when he gets up on the wall, so I'm gonna let him come out a little bit. 
so we have some space. And now when he falls, you want to try to attack his head. It's not exactly a hard boss, you just, you gotta be a little careful. That's all. Ooh, that was close. Can we bait it out again? Go, go in. Do one hit, back up. Nice. Now we, I think we can get a double in. Stomp, great move. Great move again. But I, I hit his shield on accident, so we didn't actually get to punish. And if I play my cards right, he should be dead here. Never mind, I did not play my cards right. When he gets up, careful, he will slam his shield down again. was actually a very good uh, boss to fight and show you guys because I am not getting the greatest RNG right now. Odds are you will have better RNG when you fight this boss. Again, not the greatest RNG here. That's dead. Oh man, that boss is something. Sometimes you get good RNG, sometimes you don't. And that time I did not. But that's okay, that was actually a really good way for me to show you guys how, how to properly deal with the Tower Knight because sometimes he's easy, sometimes he's not. That took way longer than it needed to, but again, it's fine. Now we can't go through here into the next area until we have the soul of an archdemon. Which is usually going to be, I mean in, in our case it's going to be the uh, the Storm King. Uh, which it, we're not going to get to that for a while. So. Now, it's our time to move on to the next area. Before we do that though, I'm gonna go back to the Nexus and I'm gonna level up. A little bit of a shorter video today, but I'm gonna try to keep it to doing one boss a video. And a lot of the other areas are going to take more time to get through, so there will be some longer videos, some shorter videos, and so on and so forth. Well, thank you for watching through the video again. Um, 
we I will have another video up at some point. Stay tuned. Like the last time, you don't have to subscribe if you don't want to, but if you are subscribed, you can use the little bell icon and I will, it will send a push notification to your phone when I post a new video. So for those of you who want to stay with me while I make this these videos and in the future making new videos on different games, uh, my next game, I, I kind of hope to do a playthrough of Elden Ring. Maybe maybe something else. I'll have to I'll have to really think about it and you can always throw your suggestions down below and I will and I will consider them and I do reply to comments as much as I can. So please don't be afraid to talk to me. You know, I'm a person just like all of you. Um and I I, I enjoy the interaction between a lot of people. So anyways, that was the tower night. I hope you all enjoyed watching, and I hope you guys learned, learned something from that fight. If you've never played this game before, hopefully I was able to give you a hand in beating the bosses. Other than that, I will see you in the next video.